Kai. He, this guy reckons Kai is going up 200x. So let's have a look at it, see what Kai is. Kai. HTX, Kai. Let's have a look. What happened? Look at it and see what it is. Kai. Cardia chain. Cardia. Uh, launched. In February, yeah. Oh God, it's already a 10X up. Twenty six million already. Wow. No, it's not ten X. Is it? Have a look at it. Creating the Bill Gittle world for millions. The first, the world's first blockchain built in solution for Big Gittle physical digital future. We are building Kaiokai. Kai okay, which you call your chain. Kai okay, the boundary aims to provide adequate tools. Builders. Multiverse. I think it's a multiverse, though, like a metaverse. The native token of the cardio chain. You can say this Kai does not follow a token sounds like KRC20. Mm. All right. So this guy's really bullish on it. Is that the one? I don't think so. Must be some other one. Cardia chain, that's it. Cardia. Let's have a look at all of them. Get rid of that one. Right. Oh shit, look at that volume coming in. Okay. Look at this one. No. Oh shit. Just do this again. Let's have a look at this again. 
Let me look at the higher time frame. <clears throat> wow. Okay, I like this actually. What's this one? Cardio chain. For some reason on Max, it's. Uh, don't understand this Max chart. No idea what that is. Forget that. So you can buy it on KuCoin, CoinX, Gate. I can get it on Gate. Okay, that's good. April 20. Get rid of that one. July 20. Why does that have July 20? And this one has April. So the, the the chart to use is gate. We're looking at this token. So I'm gonna use gate, but KuCoin has the volume. 120 million. Yeah. Well, I like this because you have this test here on gate. A test. You have this back test. And the low was there. That's the low. Oh wow. Look at KuCoin. So I launched the Just have a look at these volume levels. Amazing. Okay, we can we can chart on the KuCoin because it's showing more volume, and on Gate, all of the volume was underneath anyway, and we're holding this value area. And on KuCoin, we're at the point of control. Wow. All right. This is very interesting. I like this token. There's literally no volume up here, which is kind of what you want to see. Um, let me just put in the highs and lows. It's the low. That's the low. It's down there. That's the all time low is down here. But it, it kind of wicked down. It was not really important. And then let's have a look at the high. The 
that one. Okay. So we have our um we have our all time low, all time high. Get rid of these. I don't need those anymore. I like this volume. This is really good. Increasing volume at the lows. Um, if I do a fib pool now. That's your 50%. That's your golden pocket. Uh huh. Okay, let me just see if I was to do it to this channel. Oh, interesting. KuCoin, oh, it does that. Now we look at the gate chart. Actually, I want to do that. The problem is this gate has the correct values. But KuCoin has most of the volume. So we have we actually have um that's one two three that's your five that's your five waves right there basically and if I do a fib time coming into a major pivot next week and buy some and buy some of this token <laughs> buy some now this is really good all right It's a pretty long correction, but I think the momentum is finished. So we're looking to expand. We haven't done that yet. I mean, it's a good place to buy because you're at the point of control. The weekly time frame. that's quite a nice reversal pattern. Lots of buying, lots of buying there. Um, What 
else. You've got a range above there as well. Basically to that now then. That's your higher range. Point of control. You've got a bit of resistance up up there. A little bit of resistance there. It's the SR flip. Uh, yeah, that's where your big resistance is up there in the value area high. I like this. I like this chart actually. I like um I like that we've um we've like held this level here. You had there's a trade on the table right now, basically. And I'm gonna take it. That's basically it. I'm gonna take that all the way up to the value area height. That's a one risk one to 40 trade. But if you do a FIB extension to this low, uh, then you have some nice targets up there which is going to give you 1 to 622 trade. For the current price, that's an 86x. So that guy was saying he expects 200x. I think that would be your target. <laughs> I think 83x is, is correct. And then if it overextends, it overextends, yeah. But that's basically what you're talking about. And you're expecting some kind of five waves as well. We haven't had, we haven't even had that yet. Um, that's basically your trade. You don't really want it to go back underneath this level now, because you're, you're, look. See that previous uh, low here? It's previous lows. You're back. You're basically above that level. You don't really want it to go underneath that level now. It's like an SR flip. So yeah. And then you've got key take profits if you want to take profit along the way. But this could be the low, the low could be in, that could be it. The great thing about this is you've got this volume, this increasing volume. So that's kind of what you want to see. You want to see increasing volume at these lows. And you're getting the volume now. This is on KuCoin. 
probably the I mean the six the golden pocket is there, but there isn't really much volume resistance there. So I think yeah, I'd imagine that it will probably expand quite fast. Right up to the value area high. That's kind of where your first significant take profit is. You kind of want to see this and then this for continuation. I like this. I'm going to take this trade now. <laughs> going to take a trade for once. And um, see if I see anything else. It's hard on this chart because it doesn't have all the information. But sometimes I'll do channels. To see if there's a channel. Mm, nope. Nothing. Can't really see anything. Maybe um, go back to KuCoin. The highs look different, huh? And that is sick. Right. Um, if I look at the, let me have a look at the candles as well because I haven't looked at those. Yeah, we're in a really good place to buy actually right now. Last year, it was basically a swing failure of the previous year. This is a really, this is a really amazing place to buy. Really good place to buy. Look at that volume already. That's a lot of volume coming in to this candle. Uh, your big resistance on the highest time frame is up there at the 886. That's the yearly level and the highs. Yeah. That's your really big resistance up there. That's a higher time frame liquidity level where this 886 is. So you have big resistance here, here, so your big resistance from the current price is 6x up and a 13x up, that's your big resistances. And, you know, you look, I am expecting a continuation of this Elliott wave pattern. So if I show you on the gate chart, it's one, two, three, four, five. This is the, that becomes your, effectively this becomes your one. You have a two, and then this next one is your three. Bear market, four, back to the highs, and then you have a five. Basically, that's what you're looking at. If we have a free expansion now, then this four won't come underneath the, the previous high. And this expansion... Um, let me do it to this one actually this would be better yeah who knows how far it'll get and then the four can't go underneath the all-time high this is the higher time frame and then the five will be whatever All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go onto gate and buy some now. Wow, nice nice spot. I like that. Is there anything else I see? Um, nothing really. It's pretty self-explanatory, actually. Let me try that. Mm. 
Mm. All right. Uh, this is uh, this is looking actually really good. So I've got the trade plan now. Gonna buy this. This, this is a little bit of a pullback now as well. Look, I like these green buys. It's not much liquidity, but you know, there's a lot of buying and selling in this range, and you have a really nice invalidation now. What's the invalidation? It's about twelve percent lower. Twelve percent. I like that. I like this chart a lot. Try to um, just do a GAN fan as well. Sometimes they show you some things. Yeah, as long as the price, um, I don't really want the price to fall back underneath these these wicks. I think that's a, now that the price has come above it and it's holding support, I don't really want to see the price fall back like that. If it did that, then it's it wouldn't be ready yet in my mind. But we're into the point of control. So the point of control is holding his resistance, but... You have a lot of buying going on here, a lot of buying, a lot of buying and selling. So there's a lot of volume here. We are back above that level, which I think is it's more like a an area, but it's like an SR flip. So the, that would be, this would be the trade. You don't really want now, you don't want the price to go back down. That would invalidate you. Then you could be looking for lower if that happens. But this does look good. This looks really good. So I'm going to pick that up. All right. Any other questions uh, or requests? I'm going to, if there's any, if there's no more requests or questions, I'm going to call it a day. All right. Thanks for joining.